Hey everyone, it's Zoe and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you liked today's video, let me know how I get on in the comments and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe and if you want to see how we did this prom makeup look then keep watching. The only thing that I've done so far already is filled in my brows because we're actually going to be starting by doing eyes today. I thought that would be a little bit easier because we're going to be using a lot of eyeshadows so it's easier to clean up if we do eyes first. Before we start I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to use this as a eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply it all over the lid and up to the brow. This will even out any discoloration and really bring out the colours of the eyeshadows that we're going to apply. I'm also going to be using a little bit of tape and lining it up with the eye. If you're doing your own prom makeup then this is a really helpful tip because it really gets these edges really sharp. So if you're not that confident with eyeshadow then this is always a great tip. To start off with our transition shade I'm going to be using Peaches and Cream and Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. And I'm just taking them on a fluffy brush and I'm going to apply them into the crease. And because we've got that tape there you can be as messy as you want on the outer corner. To start building on that I'm going to be taking Frappe which is also from Makeup Geek and I'm going to start concentrating this into the outer corner. So I'm building it up in the outer corner and then any excess I'm bringing in to the inner corner. The more darker shades that you use the less you want to blend it upwards. You want to try and keep it as close into the crease as you can. Next I'm going to go in with Coco Bear, which is also from Makeup Geek and this is quite a warm brown and I want to keep this really in the outer edge. And you can also with this come onto the lid, outer lid as well and then any excess after you've blended in this area sweep in. It does seem like we're using quite a lot of eyeshadows but the more shades that you use the better effect it creates in the end and it's all about blending so just take your time. Now I'm going to go in with a matte black eyeshadow, I'm just using a random one that I've got in this palette and I'm going to start by using this along the lash line as if I was applying an eyeliner and then just really buffing it out at the edge. I'm only going to start at the middle and then work my way out. Next I'm going to be using a little bit of this shade from my Stila palette and it's in the shade Sandstone and this is just a little bit cooler and a little bit darker so I'm just going to build up on the outer corner with this one. You always want this area here to be the darkest. So for the inner part of the lid we want that to really pop and stand out because it's prom and it's got to be sparkly as well. So I'm going to be using a mixture of the two shimmery shades in here. One is called Kitten and the other one is called Bubbly. And I'm just going to use a flat brush to really pack that on over the lid. Here you want the most pigment to be on the inner corner and then any excess just blend out into the darker eyeshadows at the edge. To make that even more pigmented I'm just going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and I'm going to go in with Kitten and apply that wet and I'm just dabbing it all over the lid. So to add a little bit of extra sparkle I'm first going to apply some of the Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm just going to apply that with my ring finger 
And I'm just going to pat it onto where we've just applied the shimmery shadow. And then over the top, I'm just going to use this flat brush and I'm going to apply a loose pigment. And this is the MAC pigment in Reflex Gold. Before we take the tape off, I'm just going to use a lighter eyeshadow to highlight the brow bone and I'm just taking a bare which is from the Stila palette and I'm just going to take this just to diffuse this line. If you think that you've blended too far off just use a shadow like this and blend over the top of where your eyeshadow ends and this will really bring it down. If you're not used to using gel liner then you can leave these on and this will help you get a really strong wing in the outer corner. But I'm going to take mine off and do mine freehand because I just find that easier. So let's have the big reveal. So now because we did our eyes first I can just take a Y and just remove any fallout under the eye. Now we're going to do our gel liner and I'm going to use my good old faithful Maybelline gel liner and where's my brush? Where are you? Oh, it's here. I'm going to use the Zoeva 315 brush and I'm going to take some on the back of my hand like I usually do and it should be quite easy now we've got those lines to follow as well. I think I'm going to completely finish the eyes before we move on to the rest of the face. So I'm going to start by tight lining the top and lower waterline with this pencil from MAC and I've not used it before, it's in the shade Costa Riche. Costa Riche. To start smoking out the lower lash line I'm going to use a few of the shades that we used on the top of the eyes. So I'm going to start off first by using Coco Bear and I want to keep this really close to the lash line. Then I'm going to use a fluffy brush and creme brulee to really smoke that out. The more that you buff out this lower lash line the more smoky it will be so just really take your time and just keep working at it until you've got it how you want it. Before mascara I'm going to curl my lashes today because this is a prom tutorial so we've got to go that extra mile. And for mascara I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. For false lashes today I'm going to be using the Baker Snay lashes that she's done with Eyelaw and they are the Grand Glamour lashes and I got these the other day and I can't wait to use them, they look absolutely insane. They're double layered so they're like 3D lashes, they look so nice and they're perfect for an occasion like prom so I couldn't wait to use these. I'm just going to look down and press them on top of my lashes. Okay, now we look completely crazy, let's move on to doing the rest of our makeup. And for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation because this is really long wearing, so it's perfect for prom. And I'm just going to mix in a couple of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops for a little extra coverage. And I'm just going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. Still haven't had time to get a new one so it has still got a hole in the bottom. Now for concealer and I'm going to be using the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. And the only thing that you have to do now is just be careful blending around this area.
set the concealed areas, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just taking a really small amount on my Beauty Blender and just patting it everywhere we've applied the concealer. To set the rest of the face, I'm using the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush for this. Okay, now we're looking a little less crazy. I'm going to contour slightly using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm just going to use this fluffy brush. I don't want it really strong. And I'm just using my damp beauty liner and just pressing underneath the contour just to make it a little bit more stronger. The bronzer I'm going to be using the MAC Give Me Sun and I'm going to take that on the same big fluffy brush. blush I'm going to be using this one from L'Oreal and it is in the shade Sandalwood Pink and I'm just going to dab this not on the apples of the cheeks I'm going to keep it quite far back and blend it into the bronzer So now is the time where you can just go over the eyes again make sure everything's blended and see if you want to add any more I'm just going to run along the lower lash line again because we've applied concealer so I want to make sure that that's really smoked out. So I'm just going to run along with Coco Bear. Now onto my favourite part which you all know is highlighter and I'm going to be using Champagne Pop as usual and it is prom so we do need a lot of sparkle. And really buff that in to the tops of the cheeks. Also along the top of the brow. Also going to take a tiny bit onto the tip of the nose. And I also like to do the cupid's bow. You can also get a little bit and just place it underneath the brow. Moving on to lips now and I think a lip gloss is a lot nicer than wearing a lipstick on prom. So I'm going to start by lining them first with Max Oil Lip Liner. And then over the top I'm going to go over with this nude pink shade from Tanny Bow Cosmetics and it's in the shade Afternoon Tea. So that completes today's makeup look guys, I really hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration for prom and if it did don't forget to tag me in your prom pictures because I'd love to see how you wore your makeup as well. So that completes today's video and I really hope you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe and I'll see you soon, bye!